Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the spray foam system. The step number one, you have to make sure the surface is clean, whatever that surface is. You can blow it. Um, there's times when you need to wash it. Again, just depends what the surface is. If it's brand new insulation board, just blow all the debris off. Make sure there's no loose debris. Um, otherwise, make sure you got a clean surface. And um, this, the second thing on this step is make sure that it is 100% dry. It's very, very important that there's absolutely no moisture on the surface of the roof where you're spray foaming. If there is, you're gonna have issues. 100% dry, no moisture whatsoever. Um, make sure everything is completely clean and dry before you get started. Step number two is actually spray foaming the roof and there are times when we um, actually bring someone in to do this um, this is a two-part um, foam you spray it down and it comes out kind of like a liquid and expands as as it goes on so whoever's doing this needs to learn how to spray foam um, the, the other thing that we try to do is make sure that the foam thickness is the correct depth which um, there has to be a minimum of one and a half inches thick. Some jobs we do a little thicker, maybe two or even two and a half inches. Um, but the way you do this to check up to make sure that the, the foam guy is doing his job, you mark this, um, you mark a little thin screwdriver, you wanna make sure you use a little one, mark one at 1 1.5 inches. You can see the little mark, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, mark that at 1.5 inches and then as he's foaming, make sure you wait until the foam is pretty much dry, cured, about five minutes or so. You punch down into the foam till you reach whatever it is, the, the roof surface, the old roof surface or the insulation board until you hit that and you look at it where that mark comes. If it's less than 1.5 inches, he's not doing his job. It needs to at least reach that. So that's very important to make sure that um, you get the correct foam depth there. Step number three is where after this after the spray foam is down, it'll be just bare spray foam. And what you'll do is you want to make sure it gets sealed. The foamer isn't 100% perfect, so we have to actually literally walk the roof and seal it with quick fog. So you can use a big bucket, you can use a small bucket. Typically, we use seam grade quick caulk um, or regular quick caulk. And we take these little buckets. Um, these are the most practical. Take these little buckets, and what you do is you brush, you dip in here, you take a glob of quick caulk, wherever there's a crack or a crevice or anything that looks like it might leak, um, you just brush that quick caulk in there. You don't want big globs, but you wanna just get that sealed up, those, those, um, those little cracks sealed up. So make sure, this is very important because we have had jobs where this wasn't done correctly and it leaked afterwards, so we wanna make sure that we get this 100% sealed. This is where the little handwork comes in where you just simply walk the roof. Um, probably the more particular you can be, the safer it's going to be where there won't be leaks afterwards. So that is where you're gonna be caulking the roof. The bare foam, you did your spot, you did your spot caulking, and um, you don't have to caulk the whole thing. Just spot caulk the roof wherever there's a little crack or a, a hole or whatever on the foam. Step number four is where you're, we're actually putting the coating down, the first layer of coating. Um, we call it a base coat. Most times we're using Benchmark, sometimes we might be using Equinox or Rapid Roof 3, but it comes in a drum like this, gets, um, gets put into the trailer, and we pump it up on the roof with a spray pump. Um, gets <laughs> sprayed down. So the person spraying needs to put it down pretty thick, and then you're gonna have a roller where there's gonna be a guy coming after him and simply back rolling it. So you want to see it pretty thick. You don't want it thin. You don't want big globs. But usually, once this this gets wet, and we usually use a little bigger roller, um, this gets wet. You you literally you will roll and back roll that coating, get it in every crack and crevice. Um, you still want to see a fairly thick glaze on that. Um, typically, we're doing about 3,200 square feet per 55 gallons. So every 55 gallon that you run through, you can measure out the roof 3,200 square feet. Um, that's about our coverage rate. So that's the second step. After that is done, you also want to, and I mentioned this in the previous step, you're going to want to caulk 
every little spot um, that is a crack or a crevice or some sort of hole, you take this caulking and you walk the roof. After the base coat is dry, you want to do that again. Just simply walk the roof and make sure that you are getting every little crack and hole and crevice um, to seal that thing and make sure it's 100% sealed. So that's your, um, after this, we're going to talk about top coat. So one more step yet before we actually spray the top coat. And that is making sure all the edges have a straight line on them. Any wall, any type of um, unit, protrusion of any kind, either you do the whole protrusion, if that's practical, don't do a, don't do a um, AC unit, don't spray the whole thing. You wanna make straight edges. Every single edge needs to be straight, whether that's outside edge or a unit on the middle of the roof or something like that, even a pipe. You wanna make sure that's straight. And the way you do that, um, you can either tape before you spray. Um, that does work if, that, if the tape holds. Um, you can tape and put plastic up. Or what we do most of the times, this is the easiest way to do it, is take a bucket like this and put top coat in it. Um, make sure it's white. Put top coat in it. And what you do is just take your brush and you'll make a nice straight edge on that um, that wall or whatever you're doing, the outside wall. So you wanna make sure your edges are straight. Um, if you don't, you're gonna have to go back and redo the edges. So um, that, is, that is the fifth step. It's gonna be the last step yet before we spray top coat. Okay, the final step, we got the spray foam down, we got the base coat on, we quick caulked all the areas that need quick caulked. We did all the edges straight. And the last and final step is top coat. This is by far the funnest. All you do, you, you um, make sure you put, um, it comes out of these 55 gallon drums and um, you set it up in the sprayer, you hook it up, you run your hose up the, um, up the wall, up on the roof, and you spray down the top coat. Get sprayed again about 1.92 gallons per square, which comes out to about 3,000 to 3,200 square feet. Um, per 55 gallon drum. So when you're starting out, you're not sure about the coverage rate, you measure um, 3,200 square feet, you put a brand new barrel in the, um, in the trailer, you start it out with a brand new barrel and you spray and see where you're at after you did 3,200 square feet. So you wanna see a little bit of a, when you're spraying, see a little bit of that orange peel. You don't want it running. You don't want big old streaks but you wanna see just a little bit of that, of it of bubbling up. Um, there's that feel to it. You wanna make sure you get a consistent pass or you'll come back and you'll have little blue streaks coming through the, the white top coat. Very consistent pass on this. Make sure you get your coverage on everything. It's very important to get it very particular when you're spraying so that you get a consistent coverage. And when you're spraying out, that you don't miss that very last one or you're coming back on your second pass and you're you're leaving a strip between the two passes so um spraying this takes practice make sure you um get a good consistent coverage not too thick not too thin there's a pretty good um th th there's a there's an even keel you need to you need to learn so that's the final step after everything else is done and i'm um, the funnest and you got a nice white roof afterward